My name is John Bennett. I went to Oswald Avenue School, 1957 to 1961. I was brought up in Balby, Westfield Road. Um, uh, there was just myself and my younger brother, three years younger than, than me. Uh, we went to um, King Edward Road Junior Infants and Junior School uh, before going to Oswin Avenue. Um, we lived in the family house uh, from me being born to leaving home at age 24. My dad was a co-op shop manager. Um, um, my mother didn't work, uh, although during the war she worked at Pegler's. Um, the brass foundry. Loved our life in uh, in Balby, uh, overlooking Westfield Park. Uh, yes, and then uh, from the age of uh, eleven, um, I graduated up to uh, Oswin Avenue. Used to uh, cycle to school. I uh, bought myself a, a, a bike, uh, but it wasn't just any bike. It was the next army commando bike that um, had wing nuts um, that you could fold it in two because they used to throw them out of aircraft um, on the parachute for the parachutes to see over enemy, over enemy lines and uh, I used to uh, ride this bike to school no one ever tampered with it or took it because everyone knew it was mine um, well, I'm, I'm going to big school, as we called it then. Um, it was uh, rumours, boys were worried about uh, uh, initiation uh, ceremonies and uh, where they were, they were going to end up, uh, head down the toilet or uh, um, de-bagged in front of the girls. So uh, that was a bit of a worry, but uh, on, uh, on enrolling at Osmond Avenue, um, I realised it wasn't like that at all. It was uh, like quite a pleasant experience. Yep. On uh, arriving at uh, Oswin, um, uh, we were put into different streams, um, the points of the compass, north, north, south, east and west, and uh, I found myself in uh, in south, one south, which, uh, uh, which was a good experience. Plenty of uh, nice kids, all, all boys. You know, it wasn't a mixed school in those days. It was fun, you know, so that I got involved with the uh, with the sports, with the football, um, and um, had a happy happy childhood. Yeah, um, when I um, when I arrived at uh, Oswin Avenue, uh, the school was boys one side of the school and girls the other, and uh, neither neither the twain, twain shall meet, because all the boys were sort of looking round the corners of the uh, the corridors, hoping to. Uh, um, spot a spot a girl, you know that might uh, might show a bit of interest in them, but uh, um, that, that came later. Yeah, we didn't have our own sports ground uh, at Oswin, so um, we used to play uh, sports sports periods. We used to be at uh, Sanford Road and uh, look forward to that. The school team played at Sanford Road on a Saturday morning, and uh, I always remember that uh, after after football. We'd go to Martil's uh, Humbug Factory, which was uh, up some outer steps on the on a building, uh, and then you, you you went inside, and the the sweet smell of humbugs um, was uh, overwhelming, and boys used to queue up there to buy a bag of bag of humbugs, and save them to sell on um, at, uh, at Doncaster Rovers on a. Saturday afternoon, uh, you, if, you, if you could get a few, a dozen bags of sweets to sell, you could probably make a couple of shillings, um, which you could spend on whatever you wanted. Yeah, my footballing hero um, was Alec Jeffrey. Um, he was uh, highly talented. Um, he, play, he played for Rovers. Uh, he played for Young England. Um, he broke his leg badly when he was 17 years old playing for England under 23s. I used to uh, go there uh, at least a, an hour before kick-off with my uh, autograph book and uh, wait for the players to turn up. They'd uh, all have the little suitcases carrying the boots um, and used, used to come on the bus. That, that was, uh, my, all my spare time was um, 
playing football was uh, over the uh, our back wall, Westfield Park. I could uh, look over the wall. If I saw a couple of boys there with the ball, uh, they got the coats down for um, for goalposts. That that's that was my childhood. As I got older, uh, I graduated to uh, more to uh, train spotting. Um, I used to uh, when I first started at Oswin, I used to get on my uh, my commando bike and I'd ride to Bobby Bridge and watch, wait for the 12-15 Pullman uh, to go, going up to Edinburgh from King's Cross and then dash home for my lunch and then get back on my bike so I could be back in school for two o'clock for the afternoon session. I remember doing um, metal work uh, at school. Mr Bedlington, he was the uh, metal work teacher. Uh, he, he used to pop out sometimes for quite a, a, a time as part of the lesson, we wonder where he'd gone. So, boys being boys, we used to fool about. And uh, we, we got hold of the Bunsen burner, turned the tap on, which made a hissing sound. So, um, <laughs> we played a game as though we were, we were playing flamethrowers. Anyway, um, Mr. Bedlington uh, came back in without us uh, realising that uh, we were there. And uh, I was singled out, don't know why, but I was singled out and told to st stand outside the headmaster's door, which I did, quaking in my boots, waiting for uh, uh, to be seen by the headmaster. But uh, break down the communication, the headmaster didn't turn up. And so I just went on to the next lesson and got away with it and uh, thought that was a close shave. Um, there was two headmasters while I was at uh, Oswin, um, R.V. Taylor uh, and David Wiseman, uh, commonly known as Walrus because he had a huge moustache and uh, they took it in turns uh, as, along with other members of staff of uh, uh, doing the morning assembly before the, uh, before the first lesson. I recall uh, winning the form prize once out uh, for achievements, um, chose a, a, a book uh, which was a uh, which I still have to this day, which is uh, an Ian Allen uh, railway spotters uh, guide uh, with uh, photographs of engines and history of uh, the railway around uh, around Doncaster area. Yeah, I, I left school in 1961. Didn't know what to do for an uh, occupation. I had a word with my dad, and uh, he was in the grocery trade. And so uh, I started uh, with the local co-op and uh, worked five years um, in, uh, in retail um, before moving on to uh, insurance. And I had my own patch, which was Bowlby. Um, it was uh, off Waverley Bullring, um, my main area. Uh, on, the, on a Friday morning, that was, uh, uh, I used to, uh, collect my insurance money round, uh, round the bull ring and um, I knew Kevin Keegan not well just uh, casually because he used to train with Scunthorpe United his football team at the time by the time I got to where he lived he, he was home from training and he used to uh, uh, wash his car he had a, um, a Ford uh, Escort a purple Ford Escort with vinyl roof not being the tallest of boys he used to have a stool, he used to have to stand on the stool so he could wash the car and not miss any of it. So, as a, an insurance worker, I came across quite a few different uh, different uh, people from, uh, from the past and it was nice to catch up with uh, uh, teachers and ex-pupils. Um, Derek Holmes was one that uh, uh, used to teach um, sports and PE and uh, I bumped into him and uh, he invited me around to uh, insure his house, which uh, I was quite chuffed about. Mm. Yeah, I, I moved on in, in the insurance business, um, widened uh, my visions, did uh, got into uh, mortgages, um, pensions, anything to do with uh, finances. More, um, um, so, and I was in that line of business for for the next thirty years. Yes, uh, football was my uh, my passion. I was associated with uh, Bobby Vine, Bobby Vine Rangers, um, for the best part of 30 years. 
met some good friends. Uh, never, never the best of players, but uh, I enjoyed the game, which is uh, which is all that mattered to me really. We used to have a meeting on the Wednesday at the Vine. Um, Elsie Tors, who was a landlady for many years, uh, were very patient with us because we we could be rather raucous and loud. Uh, we had our own room uh, off the uh, off the main bar. It, uh, I still see some of the the uh, the, the players um, from from those old days. Not all of them are still alive, but uh, most of them are. I met a. Um, one guy that, uh, that I bumped into in France um, was Tony Armstrong. He'd, uh, he was sat outside a bar um, with his wife and his uh, two dogs. And uh, I'd got my dog, so we, we sat down and got chatting. And it turned out that uh, he was a Bobby lad. Not only that, he actually played for the Vine. Uh, it was uh, quite, a, quite a coincidence. I, we, we still meet up with Tony and his wife um, all these years, years later. Two headmasters uh, while I was at Oswin, um, R.V. Taylor um, and David Walrus. Uh, <laughs> no. They If you would like to know more about the Aussie Through the Ages project, then please email me at Tony Armstrong 1959 at Outlook.com. Thank you.